If you're getting this error while trying to install Windows 10 or 11, uh, Windows installation encountered an unexpected error. Verify that the installation sources are accessible and restart the installation. There's a good chance either your SSD, hard drive, or your RAM is bad. All right, so as you can see, the mem test is failed. So that means some sticks of RAM are bad. We're not quite sure which ones, so we'll remove two of them, run the test again, and then if it doesn't fail, we'll try putting back one of them and see if it fails, and just try and weed out which one is the faulty one. So first thing you want to do, obviously, turn off your computer, okay? On this specific one, it has this little button that pops this out, okay? If you're not sure how to remove RAM, every computer's slightly different. Usually they'll either be one tab or two tabs. So depending on your design, if it's only one tab, usually it will be the top one. You do want to keep the second and fourth slot. So we're going to go ahead and remove the first and the third one, okay? All right. I don't know if these, okay, this does have two tabs, so I'm pulling the tab at the bottom as well, and we'll remove these two sticks of RAM, and we'll rerun the mem test and see if it fails. Okay, so let me go do that right now. This computer was having issues installing Windows, and we weren't sure why, and this is most likely going to fix that issue. All right, so I'm gonna run mem test again. If you're wondering how do you run mem test, um, if your computer is has secure boot, you do have to disable that and able to run the mem test USB. So we're gonna wait till it starts up. We're pressing F9 on, uh, this is on HP computers. On other computers, sometimes it's F12, sometimes you have to go to the BIOS to do it. So we'll see, right now it's having issues turning on, nothing's happening. It might be it's trying to detect the new amount of RAM, so that's why it's slow. Um, but if it doesn't turn on at all, it could be one of those. Oh, nope, it started. Okay. Sometimes it could be that one of those sticks are bad if that's what's happening. So I have parted magic here and that's what I use that has mem test on it. So we'll run this and let's see if there's any bad RAM. We'll just keep continuing this test until we find which stick of RAM is bad. And once we figure that out, we should be able to install windows. All right. So I'll let this run a little bit. Usually it finds the errors pretty quick, so most likely these two sticks of RAM are fine. Oh, never mind. All right, so there we go. We found some bad RAM. So I'm just going to repeat this test until I find which stick of RAM specifically. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's multiple, so we'll figure it out. All right, we'll see you guys then. I'm not sure how it's possible, but all four sticks, I ran the test and they all failed. So. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if HP did some weird overclock. I looked and I couldn't find any settings. So I put a random stick of DDR4 RAM I had in here. Depending on your computer, it might be different. Just double check. So now we're gonna run the Windows install. I cleared all the partitions. We'll let it run and we'll see. So before it would always get stuck, it wouldn't go past, I believe like 30% or something and then it would crash. So we'll see what happens now. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get past this, but yeah, all right, I'll be back once it's getting further. All right, as you can see, it's now at 55%. Definitely looks like it's going through. So we should be good. All right, and as you can see now, Windows is all up and running. So yeah, definitely just needed new RAM. We gotta wait for the new RAM to install it because right now it just has a, I don't even know how much RAM I put in there, but let's see here. Right now, all we got is eight gigs. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wait for the new RAM. I already installed everything, just now I need to update. Uh, Windows is updating right now. That's what this, it's doing a update on Windows 11. I don't know why, but Windows 11 has some issue where it's not updating to the latest on its own and then you gotta run this installation assistant. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Uh, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. And it'll also help everybody with these issues to benefit as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.